Hey guys, welcome along to this video. Uh, track guide number seven. It's Mizano this week. Uh, so obviously, yeah, you know the routine. Um, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Uh, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. And by all means, leave a comment down below. Okay, guys, let's get into it. Okay, so coming down the main straight, uh, you wanna be heading over to the left of the track. You wanna be looking for the 100 boards. So we just passed the 100 board, probably say about a car length. I'll have a look outside, yeah. About a car length just after the 100 board. Um, you can abuse the uh, the curb in here. Uh, it's always best to sort of take a good part of this. It's a bit like Barcelona into the first corner. Uh, so obviously you wanna turn in down the second, Again, you can take quite a bit of this. Be careful of the sausages on the inside. You don't really want to hit them. So coming around, it's a bit of a sweeping movement uh, up to third, back down to second, just to aid with braking. Again, you can take quite a bit of this. Um, you can hit the sausages slightly on the inside. Um, this could be quite difficult, this part. Sometimes it sort of sends the car a little bit off balance. Uh, so you have to collect it. And then again, you're hard on the throttle. Uh, again, cutting this, uh, to sort of yeah let uh, widen the track uh, is always best to come through like I said at speed turning in again trying to kick collect the car up back round then and yeah hard on the throttle so down to this one you want to be braking just before the curbing uh, runs out as you can see the red part not the uh, red and white uh, sort of yeah good couple of car limits before the 50 so you want to be braking just get scrub the speed off i tend to sort of arrow the car in as you can see to clip the apex uh down to second take a good bit of that you don't want to really let the car run out to the outside as much i tend to try and keep it in as best as possible and again sort of one fluid motion uh, around cutting a good portion of the curb again keep the car to the right this time um, obviously just yeah slightly on the curb I'm sort of missing the curb there then you want to yeah cut it to the left again you can abuse quite a bit this is no sausage now be mindful then letting the car drift out to the right because you drift it out too much to them sausages as you can see that it will li literally put the car up in the air they are really really nasty so i said one fluid motion through here cutting the curb keeping it to the right again using the curb here and then getting on the power as quick as possible without going too wide so i'm going to come down to this part again you can abuse a lot of this bringing it right out you're looking for the white line there on the hundred so you're looking probably what a car length half a car length we'll have a look at the outside yeah half a car length i'd say Again, like I said, we're almost off the track there on the curb. Um, but yeah, it's obviously the Bentley tends to ride it really well. So again, down to second. Again, you want to be yeah, cutting a lot of this curb. Um, really getting the car rotated in. You want to be bringing the car in sort of to the left of the apex. Again, you're going to take a good part of this curb. So you want to bring it in. So obviously still in second. You want to get on the gas now. Uh, obviously there is quite a bit of grip here obviously let the, the car drift out slightly to the right i don't tend to drift it out too much um, you can get away with letting it go i mean quite a way over to the curb but yeah i don't tend to find it it helps or aids in lap time so again at speed coming in turning it in getting on the gas as soon as possible um, and then up to the next braking zone this one is difficult i tend to have issues with this one um, there's sort of no real pinpoint area to break. Uh, as you can see, maybe just past the board, uh, the Audi board, uh, if you're looking for it. So again, you wanna be braking. You wanna be staying out to the left quite a bit. Obviously you can see the rubber marks on the track, which, which help. Um, and then yeah, staying in second, you don't wanna be on the throttle. You're just, just feathering the throttle, as you can see from my throttle trace. You want to again abuse a lot of this curb on the inside uh, to sort of straighten up the corner. Then you want to be on the gas as quick as possible. I mean, I've just let off there slightly because I was just worried that I'd drift slightly wide. I do drift quite a lot, quite wide here, which isn't really the, the, the best thing to do. You want to sort of stay off, or you can take the curb slightly, but you want to see, yeah, not be on it as, as the length of time as I'm on it because uh, it will slow down your lap time. So as you can see, I come across, yeah, just a bit too much, but. 
I mean, it is what it is. We've still got round the corner. So again, yeah, hard on the throttle um, down here. Again, you want to cut a good portion of the kerb on the inside and coming down here again, it's a difficult braking zone. It's, I mean, you're probably looking for like telegraph poles or whatever they are on the outside, as you can see there, that would probably be your reference point. Again, it is difficult. You'll probably be fine with the flow of the track um, where to brake and you'll just, yeah, repetition again throughout the laps that you do. So coming down, you want to bring it out to the left and then sweep it in. You'll be down to third, again, abusing a lot of the, the, the inside kerb. Um, you have to, otherwise it, your car will sort of want to drift out too far to the left and then yeah, you'll uh, be dirty it up. So here you want to be braking just before the white line. So it's a bit of a fluid motion, obviously. I mean, you've just broken and turned in and you're braking again quite quickly. So about half a car length. So we're coming in we're hard on the gas, um, staying sort of middle of the track-ish. Yeah, middle of the track. Um, and again, you can, yeah, cut, uh, as you'll see, you can cut a, a lot of this inside. Uh, you could probably cut more than what I did on that one, actually. Um, so yeah, get round there and obviously, yeah, now come round, get on the throttle. I mean, I'm already on the throttle. Um, as you can see, yeah, I could have, could have really cut a lot more of that, to be fair, and it doesn't dirty the lap. So yeah, coming up to this braking zone again, it's, it's a difficult one. There's not really any marks. Uh, to show so it's going to be sort of repetition uh, finding out yourself maybe just just on the orange on the left as you can see uh, but you've got to look out for it so it's a difficult one again you want to be coming across uh, to the right I, mean, I could have maybe just used a bit more curb use a lot of the inside curb here again be careful of the sausages it will unsettle the car uh, and then yeah don't get on the gas too early because it will propel the car out obviously across the, the right hand side of the track and you'll dirty the lap. So that's sort of almost textbook there. Uh, and down to the next braking zone. Probably just after the line at 100. We'll have a look on the outside. We're about a car length. So between the white line and the 50 board, uh, again, you want to come down. This one's difficult. You could probably take it in second or third. Um, I tend to go third, to be fair. Uh, but as I said, you can go second again, cutting a lot of the inside, but just be mindful of the raised curb and the sausages. Then letting the car drift out again, sausages. Um, you can actually hit these. I've hit these before it's unsettled the car, but it hasn't actually dirtied the lap. So just be mindful of that. Uh, and then obviously, yeah, foot hard on the throttle to uh, across the line. So again, at speeds, yeah, textbook through there, lovely. And yeah, onto the throttle and across the line. <laughs> 